stewardship. Empathy has a companion in gratitude. Being grateful for whatever people can do with limited resources and letting people know that their dreams are working even though it may be taking a while. Use technology as a tool to keep your donors informed and never underestimate how important making a gift is to someone who may not always express what the late Hank Rosso used to call the joy of giving. Those of you who have read Greg Mortensen's book, Three Cups of Tea, may remember that he is the nurse and Himalayan mountain climber who has started, through the Central Asia Institute, he has started schools in Pakistan. And it began because he was cared for in a village after a climbing mishap where he nearly died of hypothermia. He ended up in a village of Corfi. And he was so grateful for how they took care of him that he said, as he recovered, he said, I want to do something for you. He said, I see you have no school. But he said, we've never had a school. He said, I will build you a school. They said, that would be wonderful, but our government has promised us a school for 700 years or whatever it was. And it's never happened. This was on the Afghani border. He was driven by his dream to create that school, but he didn't know anything about fundraising, nothing. And so he sat down at his typewriter, he didn't have a computer, and he wrote 500 letters to very famous people. He got one letter back from Tom Brokaw with a small check. Tom Brokaw, the news anchor. And he was pretty depressed. And he told some friends at the Himalayan Society, he said, I want to do this. He said, this school, he said, they have no school. It is just awful. He said, generations are going without schooling. They ran a little story in the Himalayan Society Journal. And a man named Jean Orny, who lived in Seattle at the time, who was Swiss by birth, and who had emigrated to the United States at about the time he invented the silicon chip that goes in almost all of our computers. He had made a fortune. He had sold it to Intel. He was a climber. And in his climbing in the Himalayas, he also had fallen in love with these people, many of whom were the porters and the people who worked with the climbers. He read this article. He called Gary, Greg Mortensen, and he said, what do you need? And Greg Mortensen said, not even thinking, he said, I need 20000 Well, it turned out it cost more than 20000 But Jean Orny said, I want the school fast, and I want it now. Well, there was only one problem with that. They found when they started trying to build the school that they first needed to build a bridge to get across a river so they could get the supplies up the road that would accommodate the trucks. So it took a little bit longer. But they were all set for the dedication. The school was finished. And life has a way of taking away great moments. And just before the dedication, Jean Orny was diagnosed with a virulent form of leukemia and given very few months to live. And so he said to Greg Morton, he said, I am so mad at God. He said, but I will feel better if you bring me pictures of that school. And he did. And not only that, because he was a nurse, he ended up providing the palliative care for Jean Monnet during this time. Shortly before he died, he asked for the telephone. And Greg writes in the book, he said, I didn't know why he wanted the telephone. He really had not been communicating with people. And he made a long distance call to his oldest friend of his youth in Switzerland. Salut, Bonny said finally to a childhood friend in Geneva, C'est moi, Jean. I just built a school in the Himalayas, he boasted. What have you done for the last 50 years? 